this is the dicky shirt that i have it's just a regular men's dicky shirt this is a size medium shirt um only reason i got a medium is because i'm doing a shirt and pants if i was doing like uh, a dress i wouldn't i would have probably got a small but this is a medium so what i have here is a size 18 month t-shirt and a size 12 month short okay so um the size that this is supposed to be is 12 months um but i went ahead and went 18 months because it's going to give me like a little extra seam allowance because you always have to leave seam allowance so i'm hoping that all of this makes sense okay so the first step is you're gonna oh this is literally uh these pants came from once upon a child which if you don't have a once upon a child in your city this once upon a child uh, once upon a child is like a secondhand store so you can go to like a secondhand store goodwill dav whatever y'all have there in your city and i think these are like thirty dollars or six dollars something like that um so i just bought these this is just gonna be my pattern um you can also take these and cut your own pattern like cut it on paper so you can always keep it but i just keep a pair of pants in my closet okay so first thing you want to do is you want to fold the dicky shirt so i'm gonna fold it and i'm gonna lay it down okay and what i did before um i started the video is this little dicky sign here it was like sewn right here to the bottom and i just took my thread puller and took it off because we're gonna do this at the end if I don't forget, I always forget to put to sew these back on at the end, but I'm gonna try to do it right. Okay. So ow. I just hurt myself. Okay. So you fold it over and you want to make sure that it's completely even. Um, so I always match like the seam lines in the on the shoulder of the shirt. And make sure it's completely even. And then I'm gonna take my shirt. And I'm going to fold this over as well. So, I'm going to pull that down so it can be seen a little bit better. And I'm going to put this shirt, fold it over, and again, even, evenly fold it. And I'm going to put it on the shirt. Okay? Just like this. Like that. So, I'm going to take... And, okay, so if you're using, this is supposed to be a 12-month shirt. But if you're using a 12-month shirt to measure it with, you need to leave about an inch of seam allowance. Now, I'm using an 18-month shirt. So, at the bottom, I'm going to leave a little bit. I'll probably leave an inch at the bottom. Um, but on the sides, I'll probably do like a half an inch seam allowance. If you don't know what that is, you can get you some measuring tape, which, oh, here it is. You can get you some measuring tape. I just stepped on the thing. <clears throat> and you can like measure it. So you can do like an inch seam allowance. But I can kind of eyeball it, so I'm not going to measure it. But if you need to measure it, do that. So this piece is going to be for your shorts. And make sure you're cutting both sides. Okay, so this piece here, you don't need it. You can throw it away. All right, so it already looks like a shirt. You just really got to sew it. So you're going to sew straight up and to the side. That's literally it. But we'll get to back. We'll get back to that in a second. 
So we have this last little piece here. Now, if you unfold this piece, it's two pieces. So, cause it's a, it was a shirt, so it's two pieces. So, I'm gonna show you what I do. I like to unfold it. I take my shorts and I have them folded up in the front. So, this is the front of them. I pull this part out so it looks like this. Pull it out and I set it on the shirt. And again, we're gonna do the same thing. But, huh, I like to set it right at the hem of the shirt so that I don't have to hem the bottom of the shorts. I'm telling y'all, it'll save you time and it'll save you energy. Try not to hem, okay? So I like to put it at the bottom where my hem is gonna be at the bottom. Um, again, you wanna, these are 12 month shorts. I'm doing 12 months, so I'm gonna leave myself an inch seam allowance, okay? So don't cut right up on it because it's gonna be too small. You gotta give yourself some, some space to sew it. This does not stretch. So you gotta give yourself some space to sew it. Also, because we're putting elastic in the top, I like to give myself about an, an extra inch on the top just so that I can fold that inch over and do um, the elastic, okay? So, an uh, inch seam allowance all the way around, all right? So, let's go. And when you cut this, it's going to create two separate pieces. And just follow the lines of the shorts. Okay. So when you take it off, this creates two pieces. Oh, come apart. Okay. This creates two pieces that are going to be for the front. Okay. So. Two pieces here, all right? Keep these together. And then you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna flip it, turn it to the back where the back pockets are, and pull that part out, okay? I feel like this is gonna be the easiest straight to the point tutorial ever. Okay, so again, you want to put it right at the seam line. That's fine. And then cut around it and give yourself about an inch seam allowance. If you need more seam allowance, remember, you can always cut stuff off. You cannot add nothing on. So try your best to, you know, do right by the seam allowance. Okay. Okay, so all these extra pieces can be thrown away. Okay, I got my quilt in um, clips. You can buy these at, on Amazon, is which, I, which is where I got them from, which I'll add my Amazon link below where every, all the products are at. Um, but I use the clip in, I use the clips instead of the pins. I just don't like them. Um, so, you know, do what you wish, though. Okay, so this is my back piece. And make sure you know which piece is the back piece and which piece is the front piece. It does look different. Um, let me see. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to sew this part here. So, here in here which i'll show you how that looks when i get done but i'm gonna throw that on the floor i'm gonna clip it
Okay, so after I clip it, I can kind of show y'all what it's going to look like. So it's going to look like this after I sew it. So we clip that piece. I'm going to put that to the side. And then for your shirt, you're going to take the sticker off. You're going to flip it inside out. And you're going to also clip this as well. Go to sleep. So you're going to clip. So you're gonna clip it together and you're gonna sew straight down on each side. We're really gonna sew up on each side. Um, and one thing I forgot actually here. Unclip these. <laughs> okay, so with this, you're going to put like sides together. So the front side. And the front side should be together, which makes it inside out because you always want to sew on the inside. I like to make sure that they're super even, so I'm cool. Okay, so you're gonna take to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew from here, this clip here. So from here, all the way up. And then from here, all the way up. You do not wanna close this, I mean, you do not wanna sew this part because this is gonna be where the pants open it, okay? So, so that. And then sew this and all that. So you finish sewing it. It should look like this. I did a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch on the sides. It won't have thread all over it. So all you need to do now is hem it. So you're gonna roll this up, sew around here, sew around the other sleeve, and then the same thing on the bottom. You have to hem the bottom for this. Now, your shorts should look like this. So it's open at the bottom. This is together. And you should have two of these. Hold on, let's open it up. Open at the bottom together. Um, you're going to put your outsides. Let's move this camera a little bit. You're going to put your outsides together this will make it look inside out like so and you're gonna sew each side and then the middle part so we're gonna pin that up and it's already hemmed so you don't have to worry about the hem so you're just gonna put your sides together and clip them
Okay. So this is how it should look. And again, you're on the sew side, side, and then the V in the middle. And then on this, we're gonna just hem all of our edges. So we're gonna hem around this sleeve, this sleeve, and the whole entire bottom. Okay, so when you hem, I just felt like I need to do like a small hemming video. So when you hem, you're just basically rolling the edges up and sewing them together. So um, a easy hem is to just roll it up like this and sew it, which um, is super easy, but it doesn't give it the super clean look, but it will be inside the shirt. So nobody will see it except the person who puts the shirt on. So you can do it like that. Or you can do like a double fold and it double folds all the way around, which is just like a cleaner hem. I'm not super good at hemming. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, I would love to be better, but you know, so sometimes I do do that um, unclean hem where it's just like that. But just to kind of show y'all a better way of doing that, you can do it like this. And then um, basically what I'm going to do is just simply a straight stitch all the way around. So it's going to be a straight stitch all the way around here. Um... I don't know if this angle is it. So if y'all can see that it's like tucked on both sides, this side and that side. And then you just take and do a straight stitch all the way around. And I can't figure out how to show my actual sewing machine while I sew. So I'm going to sew it and then I'll come back. And doing a hem, I think you should just go slow. <laughs> That's the only advice that I could give. Go slow, make sure everything's tough, and try to sew towards the outside of your hem instead of the inside. Because you want to catch this fold on the back. That's just my advice, you know? It's not always an easy task. Especially when you're dealing with small spaces like this. The bottom of it is a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. So, I did it. So, as you can see, this is how the inside looks. And this is how the outside will look so yeah okay so this is what it should look like after you finish i sold this side i sold the middle and i sold this side but now you have to create your casing so all you do is flip the top half down and you're gonna use 15 inches of elastic, which this is one inch elastic. So you're gonna use 15 inches of one inch elastic for a 12 month. Now every, it'll be different for each size, but I'm doing 12 months. So I'm gonna do 15 inches. So I'm gonna measure this out about 15 inches. 
and I might do more. I always like to see. Let me cut that last. I might not do 15 inches because sometimes it's different. I go, I have a 227 chart, so I kind of go by the 227 chart, but sometimes that makes it like too tight. So let's just eyeball it. Okay, so first you're going to fold this down. You're going to make sure you fold it down um, big enough to where this can fit in it. Okay, so fold it down. And then you just do a straight stitch around. But when you do a straight stitch, you have to leave a hole to where you can weed this through, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do our straight stitch all the way around. But remember to leave a hole where you can weave it through. Okay, so I did go ahead and sew around our edge. I can see I just folded it over and sewed it. And then right here... I left a small hole, okay? And we'll close that hole up at, at the end. So, remember I was telling y'all you gotta put elastic on it. Now, originally I was gonna do 15 inches because that's what I do for like the tutus. I know one's a girl, one's a boy, but regardless, it's 15 inches around the waist. But sometimes when you do the same as the tutu, it like pulls it in too much. So, I'm gonna kind of feed this through and kind of feel like, fill it out where I need to put it at. Um... So you're gonna need two clothespins um, in order to do this. And it might still be 15, I don't know. I just wanna see. So you just put, you put the clothespin in and you're just literally pushing it through super simple um, and then you can kind of pull it as you go So you just push it because all the way through like this so this is the side with the all the elastic on it okay so i'm just gonna move around and i just want a little a little stretchiness to it So, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to take this pin and pin the other side. So, I can kind of see. So, this is perfect. It gives it a little stretch where, you know, it just won't fall off the kid's waist. Um, you can always measure the waist if that's what you want to do. But I just kind of put the elastic in and get to a little stretch. So, after you do that, you need to sew this. So, I'm going to go ahead and sew that on the sewing machine. And then, actually, I'm going to place them on top of each other like this so that it's not like any type of bumps or anything like that. I'll pull it all the way out and then just place this up under my sewing machine. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna cut some of this excess thread off. And it doesn't matter that the thread is red, you won't be able to see it. So, that thread goes in there. So, this is almost finished, but you just want to close this hole right here. Um, and you'll do that with just adding in the straight stitch right here. So, you're going to have to kind of pull it out so that it won't be so...
this down. And as I sew, I'm just gonna kinda like pull it. Uh, you wanna make sure not to sew your elastic down cause then it won't move. I'm on the elastic. <laughs> make sure that you get it on the same line as your other thread so that it doesn't look like super off. So I just like to go through, I always have thread everywhere, okay? So I like to go through, cut any extra pieces of thread um make sure there's no thread like stuck to it you just want a real clean look so and then you can just go ahead and flip on this back inside and look how tiny these are they're so cute <laughs> But, no, for real, though. They are so cute. Oh, that's the back. And this is the front. Um, Super cute. I could use a small horn just to flatten the seams. But, yeah. They are done. 12 months. And then, here is the finished product of the shirts. As you can see, I did the um him in down here and on the sleeves and you have a finished shirt so there you go don't say i ain't never touch you nothing all right this is the finished product make sure y'all follow me for more tutorials and tips on facebook with, at whitley downs on instagram inspired by bailey and make sure y'all check out my amazon page link below